This is President Trump. Smash the like button if you believe that Malachi Black should leave for World Wrestling Entertainment. I just found out that NXT beat all elite fake pro wrestling dynamite last night in TV ratings. Like I said, I am on a roll. First, the Donald became president. I told you that was going to happen for the past couple of goddamn months. And then I made a pitch, right? I said that Ricochet should join the Hurt business to save his dying career. And then last night on Dynamite, they teased Ricochet joining the Hurt business. Who caught that? I did. And then last month, I said that NXT was going to beat Dynamite in TV ratings every week the moment they moved to the CW network. Was I wrong? Nope. I made a video about that last month. Go and check it out. So you see, I'm on a roll. I don't get things wrong because I have common sense. I knew that NXT was going to beat Dynamite in TV ratings every week because I think that the CW network has a bigger platform than TBS. I'm speaking facts. Now, I gotta be real. Which show did I watch? Dynamite or NXT? I gotta be real. I watched Dynamite because I want to know who was going to be the mystery partner of Ricochet. And it was Powerhouse Hobbs. So now Hobbs is back to being a good guy. Hmm, why is Hobbs a good guy? I don't know why, but at least they gave us an explanation on why he left the Don Callis family. Because they said that his contract expired with the Don Callis family. So I guess that makes sense. But why would you put him in a feud with the Don Callis family because of that fact. I don't get it. Okay, yes, Don Callis did not resign Hobbs. Okay, that means Hobbs should move on. I don't know why Hobbs would get better and be in a feud with the Don Callis family. That is lazy, and you need to find something to do with Powerhouse Hobbs. Was Dynamite a good show? Hell no. I was pissed off because they booked Malachi Black versus adam coleslaw we all knew that black was going to lose it's how he lost that pissed me the fuck off it's how he lost let me get this straight little ass adam coleslaw he kicks out of the black mass let me give you fun facts about the black mass when he was in nxt under triple h that move was protected Nobody ever kicked out of the black mask besides Laura Sullivan, that gay guy. But overall, Triple H, man, he protected Malachi Black in the past five, four years, man. He's been a jobber. This was a jobber match. Let's speak facts. This was a job guy match. Now fans think he's leaving, but Malachi Black affirmed that he's not leaving yet. So that's worse, right? So you are not leaving you are staying. So, hold on. That's worse. Right? Bruh, you was better off not saying a word. I'm sorry, Malachi Black. You was better off not saying a goddamn word. That looks worse. You are staying, and you jobbed out to little ass Adam Coleslaw. He kicked out of the black mass. I love that move. That pissed me the fuck off. What's going on here? Why is Adam Coleslaw burying the house of BBC? Like, my God, I don't get it. I just wish that Triple H made Adam Coleslaw a jobber when he was in NXT because now Con Man thinks he can get the old Adam Coleslaw back. But no, nah, bitch, only Triple H knew what the fuck he was doing with Adam Coleslaw. And the fact that on commentary, they said that Adam Coleslaw never beaten Malachi Black ever. So I'm like, okay, obviously he's winning. Let's be real. When it comes to the World Wrestling Federation, they are Donald Trump. In all elite fake pro wrestling, they are Kamala Harris. At this point in time, I can't see all elite fake pro wrestling ever beating NXT ever in viewership. It's not going to happen. But Malachi Black should leave. How dare you say that he's better off in this company? Bruh, he was better off under Vince McMahon. Let's be real. He has been a flop in all elite fake pro wrestling. There's no lies being told. He was better off being a job guy on Raw. He was better off being a mid-card guy on SmackDown and Raw. Bro, he's losing to Adam Coleslaw. Clean. What the fuck? Adam Coleslaw kicked out of the black fucking mass.
You can't defend that. There's a numbskull that tried to defend that, saying, Makai Black is better off here? Here? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Because at this point, Adam Coleslaw is going to bury the house of BBC. He's going to beat Buddy King. He beat Buddy Murphy. He beat Makai Black. He's the leader of the group. I'm like, wow, man, that pissed me off that he kicked out of the black fucking mass. But this overall show was very underwhelming. I am tired of seeing Chris Jericho and Big Cass and Brian Keith versus Mark Briscoe and Kyle O'Reilly. That is an awful, terrible feud. And they already dropped the ball on Dean Ambrose group. They already dropped the ball on the Death Rider BBC Club. They are already boring. And it's like, eventually, somebody has to attack Marina Shafir. Because this is going to be like the World Wrestling Federation with Rhea Ripley. Eventually, somebody is going to have to beat the shit out of Rhea Ripley. Okay, I am tired of seeing Dirty Ass Dominic selling for Rhea Ripley. Like, can we please stop this? Like, how come only women are allowed to beat up dudes? In wrestling in 2024 I don't get it nobody cares about this that does not make Rhea Ripley a badass that don't make Marina Shafir a badass it don't because you gotta beat me up and I have to have my hands tied behind my back how are you a badass you ain't my pitch is buddy ass Dominic should give Rhea Ripley a frog splash something she needs to get her ass whooped. Her and Marisha Shafir. Hopefully, the Hurt Business can save this show because I love their theme song. This group has tons of upside in all elite fake pro wrestling. If Con Man knows what the fuck he's doing, this group has upside and potential. But let's talk about Christian Cage. Man, I don't get it. Why would you give him a money in the bank contract? Because, bruh, to my knowledge, Dan Ambrose is going to hold this belt for a long time. So when will this contract expire? Because I can't see Cage pinning Dan Ambrose. So what was the point of giving Cage that contract? Bruh, he's not beating Dan Ambrose. So what was the point? But overall, I'm already bored of the Death Rider BBC Club. I'm already bored. And when is Hook going to leave? I think this will be Hook's last match against Christian Cage. That's my opinion because eventually Hook will be in NXT on a CW network. But this feud with Adam Coleslaw and Max, it's like, bro, I don't get it. Why are we cheering Adam Coleslaw? Why is he a good guy? Like, I don't get it, man. You turn on Max. Y'all was best friends. You ruined that friendship, right? You double-crossed him. So, why are we booing Max? Such a dumb angle, it makes no fucking sense. I can't cheer Adam Coleslaw. And now, Adam Coleslaw is going to face Ticket Shit for his championship. I'm like, wow, man. Have you seen Ticket Shit and Adam Coleslaw? My God, it looks like a child and his brother. I'm like, bro, you cannot make this match work. Adam Coleslaw versus Ticket Shit. Taking shit, he dwarfs Adam Coleslaw. This will be a fake match. This is why I call it fake pro wrestling. If Adam Coleslaw looks good against taking shit, this is why I call it fake pro wrestling. It makes no sense to book this match. Taking shit can beat the shit out of Adam Coleslaw. So why book the match? It's not believable, right? I saw Adam Coleslaw fighting taking shit last night. I'm like, man, Adam Coleslaw is a fucking child compared to taking shit. I think that the Hurt Business is the most entertaining thing on the show. And Bobby hasn't wrestled yet. I am more intrigued with Swerve Scott versus Bobby Lashley. I think that's going to be a very good match. Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Bobby Lashley. I think this will be a great match, a great feud. Now, we need to add Ricochet and Powerhouse Hobbs to the Hurt Business. That's my pitch. First, let's get Ricochet. 
and then we will get powerhouse Hobbs in the hurt business. That is great booking. We need to make Ricochet more interesting. He's born. Okay? He's Spider-Man. He's born, man. If you give MVP to Ricochet as his mouthpiece, I will find Ricochet to be more intriguing. He needs a mouthpiece. He needs a manager. How about MVP? Turn him heel and pair his ass up with MVP as his mouthpiece. I think that is going to happen. But overall, this will be a weekly occurrence. All elite fake pro wrestling will get their ass kicked by NXT every week moving forward. And I'm done.